welcome back to the football chat. We are here for Premier League predictions. It's game week 23. We're, yeah, only 15 more after this one. So, yeah. I can't, can't believe we're so far into the season already. It feels pretty mental. But, yeah, some big games this week. I'm joined by the producer. No Connor mm. once again, unfortunately. With game week 23. Getting close to the end. Do you think the title race is over? Oh. Is it? Is it not? You'll have to find out. Pod, the podcast, podcast out two days ago. Already so. been out. Go and check that out. See but yeah, some big games, some huge ones for the top of the table clash and some big ones for the bottom as well. Up first is one of those relegation scraps on the Friday night is Watford versus Norwich. Now, I, I really don't know which way this is going to go because Watford looked very good going forward across the season. But then they they just really struggled to break down Newcastle. And I think there's a draw, right? One all? Yeah. I believe so. For me... Norwich played really well against Everton. I know yeah. Everton are in terrible form, but I do think I could. I think I can see Norwich coming away with something from this game. I mean, Watford are at home. Yes, well, I think that matters much. Watford, yes, as you said, they come off. They come into this game off the back of a one-one draw at Newcastle and a postponed game at Burnley. And Norwich, yeah. like, see, Norwich haven't played well at all, but. The three-one win away. Two-one over. Was it away. Two-one. Oh, it was two-one. It was at home, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, no, it was away. So it was away. Can't but a away win. Who knows? But yeah, they beat Everton two-one. Pretty good win for the Canaries. It's a big win. Now we better, I don't think massive. they'll keep a clean sheet, but I think they will. Get, they'll win two-one. Watford to lose at home. Dennis will score though, and then for Norwich, I'm going to go for Timu Puki and uh, an own goal. From Craig Cathcart, I will agree with everything you've said there. All right, for identical predictions. Yeah. All right, Aston Villa fan, it's going to be Coutinho's possible first start. It's the early game on the Saturday, yeah. Everton versus Aston Villa. Well, obviously a return to Luca for Luca Digne back to uh to Goodison Park. Obviously, Digne, Coutinho. I doubt Robin Olsen will make his first start, but he he's there anyway. I mean, so Everton, bit... Everton will have Duncan Ferguson. It, it, yeah, that's the thing. The Could we see a new manager out of Everton no. it's at home? The crowd are going to be massively behind them since Villa has his sacking. But equally, Villa, great form. Just beat Manchester United, True. making some fantastic came signings. Back two, two. Came back from two, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it was a draw. Um, and, yeah, they're, they're playing really well recently. With Coutinho in there as well, with Ramsey's form, Ings, I reckon, will get a lot of service from the very creative players around him now. I do think Villa have... Yeah. Villa are definitely a better side than Everton. It's whether the manager bounce has anything to play. No, yeah, I get the whole manager bounce and crowd What, thing, what are you going for? I'm going to say 3-1 Villa. At Goodson I Park, 3-1 loss. Ings and Ramsey will score each goal. Everton might get a... A Luca Digne own goal. I think Everton are going to play a lot better now they don't have Solomon Rondon starting every game because it's a Benitez system. If they play Calvert Lewin where he should be playing up front, directly up front, not on the wing or something like that, then I think they'll get a lot more goals. Anthony Gordon's had a really good season. He got what a double a few weeks back. Yeah, and I I think he's the he's one of their biggest danger men at the moment. Everton solid yeah. youth they're coming through. Jared Branthway. Um, and the like, so and obviously Vitale Michaelenko's there now. I'm gonna go two two again. Two two. Wow. I think a Coutinho double uh, for Villa and uh, Gordon will and Gordon goal and assist with uh, Calvert Lewin to get the. Other I one. think Everton will play better, but I think Villa will just run riot. I think Villa. Are Exceptional. I, I think the new manager bounce is going to have a lot to play in it. But yeah, on to the first three o'clock kickoff. It's Brentford versus Wolves. Uh, I, I, they both had. I mean, Wolves having a fantastic season. I think they're very much going under the radar for that. Brentford, though, not really in that relegation scrap. Like, I don't see them going down. So, for that reason, I, I kind of have to back Wolves here. They're playing really well recently. Brentford didn't look too great against no. Liverpool. And. I, obviously, we haven't seen the United game yet. Cause we're recording on Wednesday, but I do. I think Wolves will have it quite comfortable here. I'm going to go four nil Wolves. Four nil away. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and against Brentford. Nil four. No. Uh, well, I think Sars, bold predictions. Got to go for it. look very good for Wolves. They, you know, they went to Old Trafford and won and kept a clean sheet. 
They've looked good in their recent games. I don't think it'll be four. I think it'll be two, one. I'm gonna say two, one. Um, who it'll be? Not. I I just so. don't. I just don't see Wolves losing. I think Jimenez and Neves, and then mm. Embuemo for Brentford. Oh yeah, I don't see Wolves conceding. Uh, and I, yeah, I think it'll be four 0 Big guy, big uh, a lot of good. I know it's a lot of goals. Bit of a bold prediction, but you gotta go for stuff sometimes. I'm gonna go Jimenez to score, yeah. Neves to score, Cody, and then I'll go for a Matinho goal as well. Nice. Why not? Right up next, Leeds United versus Newcastle United. Well, I see it's going one way and one way only. I, I don't. I do. I really think this game is. Up for grabs for both sides. Nope. Neither of them have had good seasons whatsoever. Newcastle, a few signings made. Leeds have nine senior players. Yes, they've just beaten West Ham, but I, I think that was a big shock to everyone. Newcastle, I think they could pull off what last season would have been an upset and what now could be huge for their relic, for their survival hopes this season. I just don't. I don't think Newcastle will stay up. I don't think Leeds will go down. But this, yeah. This game could tell really, us a lot me, about the, what's going to happen this a, season. This is a bit of like with Norwich. Leeds have just pulled off a massive win away at West Ham, and you know they're at home. Keep the momentum the crowd going. Will be happy, you know, upbeat and on on you know on it from minute one. Loud yeah. and vocal. I think Harrison will definitely play a lot better. That'll give him a lot more confidence. The team yeah. will just be more confident and spirits will be up. Newcastle. They've been drawing here, drawing there, losing to this team, losing to that team, winning one nil, and I just, I just don't think they've got the quality. So I accept Maximan will probably score, but I think Leeds will win three one. Oh, I was also going to go for three. I'm going to go three all. Three all. Uh, yeah. So Newcastle open the scoring with an Alan St. Maximan solo run and finish. Then Rafinha bends on top corner for Leeds. Banford puts them two ahead. Wilson brings one back for Newcastle. Shackleton then scores for Leeds. Chris Wood off the bench to get them a point, rescue a point for Newcastle, and score okay. his first goal. That's that's my big and bold prediction. On to the next one, Manchester United one versus West Ham. I think this is also a three pm, which is a strange. First situation. award is for best actor in a. Not interesting, that. interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm just, <laughs> just opened up on Twitter accidentally. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, if they claim that, they I'll won't. knock them out. They won't. And NBC, I'll come for you. Um, um, yeah. For me again, I only <laughs> see this find. going one way. What time the kickoff is? Really? No. no. <laughs> I was going to say. No, I'm, I, neither team United. are in good form. It's, West, it's a three p.m. West Ham lost to Leeds. United would threw away a two-nil lead at Villa. After struggling against them in the FA Cup and losing to the Wolves the weekend before that, Ronaldo's not happy, Bruno's not happy, but he is playing slightly well. It, I it's guess. a squad with very low mentality, low morale against the West Ham side who. They want to bounce back. Just, just going back up. Uh, they have all just, want to bounce back. Uh, coming in off of a loss to Leeds, but he, uh, yeah, I, I do think West Ham have more. Yeah. Are, well, I think they're a better side than Manchester United right now, which is pretty mental to say, but. I do fancy West Ham here. It is at Old Trafford, which I think it does play into it a lot. It is quite quite a tough place to go, but I think the West, I think the home fans will be booing come That's the end the of this fixture. All, all it takes, I mean, just throughout the game, all it takes is a couple slotty passes and a few missed chances. The crowd get annoyed, the players get annoyed, and West Ham will go. I'm going to say two one. Two one. I think fair enough. Bowen and. Antonio for West Ham. I'm going to go for a little bit of a mental Fernandes prediction. United. I'm going to go 5-1 West Ham. Wow. I'll, I think they're going to absolutely pick them apart. I think Jared Bowen's going to cause Luke Shaw or Teo to have a place there. A lot of problems. Uh, ben Rama is just going to have a lot of space to roam in. I think Michael Antonio will absolutely body uh, Maguire. And even Varane is a little bit shaky against And I, th- I think with Zuma back now, and with either Diop or Bonner, Dawson in a place there, they've got, the, they've got enough protection to nullify the Ronaldo threat. Yeah. Sh- I think West Ham, over the 
over the pitch are stronger. And to go for a bit of a bold prediction, I'm going to go 5-1. A complete Fair Fair pulling apart and destruction of Manchester United at Old Trafford. I get that half, I but Ronaldo will like, get a yeah, They're like 3 0 down at half time, but no, everyone will just leave. The fans will just leave. Like against City. Oh no, sorry, against Liverpool. They will just leave. They won't bother. And I yeah. think that situation may not get worse and worse. I think, I, think I, they, I do think a lot, though, depends on this Brentford game. Because if they can get a good result a there, good point, might have more going into the weekend. Italy, but Bruno, if they lose... Bruno could go get sent off and Ronaldo could be even worse. injured and De Gea exactly. fall over. Yeah, yeah, you never know. <laughs> De Gea fall over. Yeah. Carrying on to at what we think could be uh, big score lines, Southampton yeah. City. Huge game. It's the last one on the Saturday. It's the late kickoff. Southampton versus Manchester City. At St Mary's Park, could that play into it? Southampton did beat, no, sorry, drew with Manchester City nil nil early in the season. It was like a 0-0 one one something like that. This, I could see Southampton get excited from this. I don't. But the probability is that Manchester City will f- <laughs> yeah. kill them. I'm, but, I'm yeah. going to go with the prediction you went for with the United West Ham game. I'm going to go 5-1 City. Wow. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. Wow. Broy double for Southampton. Best striker in the world. <laughs> and then uh, okay. De Bruyne and Canseo goals for Manchester City. So, um, someone out of the studio. That's <laughs> like the studio. They're just absolutely shouting. Uh, head yeah, off. I think. Hang on, Tom from throwing off. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Bro will get a consolation for Southampton, but I think City will absolutely rampage. This Premier League prediction has been filled with distractions. Yeah. <laughs> First game on the Sunday: it's Arsenal late, versus Burnley. Ooh, I mean, Ooh, I we might really call it off because we've got a few injuries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, well, they should have party back. I think what will be interesting is what on happens now. in the Carroll Cup semi-final second leg. If they're going into this game after beating Liverpool and getting through to a final, although the other thing is, obviously, they have to say they have to go to penalties. You know, get people get tired. If they lose, they could you know low on morale. Burnley have lost their best striker. But it's very but. Oh, but My Arsenal, Vidra hasn't left. <laughs> but Arsenal at the Emirates, I think, will be strong enough to see them off. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I kind of have to agree with that. Arsenal, much stronger side. Burnley in terrible form, bottom of the league. Arsenal in good form, so I'm going to go Arsenal to win 2 0. Martinelli and Smith Rowe yeah. the goals. I will say. 2-0, Martinelli and Smith row the goals. How boring. Right, on to the next one. Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. Will there be a massive upset? No. I'm going to go yes. Depleted Liverpool side, Crystal Palace at home. Vieira's going to get his men playing some gorgeous football. Eze and Gallagher and Eduard on the score sheet. 3-0 Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, sorry. Liverpool nil. That is my prediction. What's yours? What? No. Um, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say 3 3-1 Liverpool. Uh, I don't think Liverpool will oh, beat think, Palace. Uh, they don't have Manny or Salah. I don't care. Jota double and Minamino and, th- and then Gallagher goal for Palace. I think Gallagher, Etze and Edouard are going to score. Saying that Minamino and Firmino scored against Brentford last weekend. I think they might carry... They might nope. find... No, Liverpool. Nope. They'll all find form. 3-0 Crystal yeah, Palace. On to the next one. Leicester versus Brighton. Right. Brighton in great form. Claimed a good draw against Chelsea in the week. Leicester... Um, they've barely team. played, but they ha- they could mm. they could have played Tottenham in the week. Uh, but they've, they've got Tottenham mm, tonight. Yeah, yeah, but I, we don't know the result. Yeah, they could have won midweek against Tottenham. They could have lost. I predict they probably won. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Brighton three Leicester one. I gonna say, but for a lot of away wins tonight, I'm gonna say Leicester one Be Brighton a- one. Throwing a bit of a curveball, but yeah, I not think away wins. Madison and McAllister. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Right. Well, we can't we can't actually predict the final yeah. games. That's like it's Chelsea versus Tottenham, but we will be live for it. Yeah, I'm telling you now. I will force. I won't force YouTube if you're watching. I will. I will source. We have got. We are. Source we are, we, we are booking on. so many people. 
So when people cancel, we will have enough people. But we will be there. If you want to see us, our prediction. Uh, you know what? Sure I'm literally going to gonna message Connor right after this finishes and force him. If you want to, to be, not, well, not force, force him. him. If you want to see, you know, tune in, have a nice chat with us. I know some people would have joined the channel. Yeah, gained a um, load of new subscribers after our recently. Last stream, so it's been about a month. If you are watching well, this and you've never watched a stream, it'll be the twenty something of January. Yeah, if you are watching this and you've never watched a stream, make our sure last one was the fifteenth of December, so it's been yeah. quite a while. But yeah, we'll be back with live streams hopefully Sunday. Should be there. If, oh, yes, you. if this game gets called off, or if Connor breaks his glasses again, or if anything else happens, I'm going to be very, very angry. But yeah, we should be live. We'll call the police. Bit far. I'll be on. That's how we create I'll, a video. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be I'll here. You'll be here. We just need one more guest, so we'll make sure to have someone here. Someone will be here. We will be sitting in the two chairs and the sofa, and we will be live. You have my word. You can jab the heart. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> sit across everything. Yeah. But but yeah. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure to head over to the YouTube. Make sure to tune into the stream on Friday, Sunday. Sunday. If you, I thought Sunday meant and then changed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, stuff. make sure to head over to the Spotify. Share, share the love around. Uh, yeah, if you're on YouTube, make sure to check out that stream. Leave a like, comment, comment below, subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you next time. See ya.